Homes were transformed into shop fronts today as savvy consumers cashed in on a national trail of garage sales. But for those whose treasure turned out to be actually trash, experts say there's little chance of a refund. On the hunt to chalk up a bargain. You walk past 99% of it, but it's the 1% it's the I suppose that you, you might like. Shoppers flock to secondhand sales around town, organised online as part of Garage Sale Trail, a national event encouraging communities to come together while promoting the reuse and recycling of goods. But legal experts warn there could be a snag if the items sold aren't up to scratch. Consumers don't have the same rights to seek a refund, a repair or a replacement as they would if they bought something from a shop. The advice is buyer beware. People need to take care and inspect items first and make sure that they are actually suitable for their purposes. If I find something that's new in a box and it's just going cheap, I'll just grab it. But if it's something that might be old and collectible, yeah, I'll have a good look at it to see if it's, if it's worth keeping. With more than 500 sales across 14 councils, the real challenge for bargain hunters is sifting the treasure from the trash. And if your hidden gem turns out to be a dud, some sellers are happy to make amends. If they don't like it or if it doesn't work, they know where you live, so... Assuming, of course, you can be bothered making a fuss. No, I want to go back. I'd just sell it in another garage sale. <laughs> Tom Angley, Nine News.